What up, folks? I'm back once again doing another video game review, and this time I'm reviewing Shinobi 3 Return of the Ninja Master for Sega Genesis, and it was made by Sega and Megasoft. And the plot behind this game is that Neo Z is threatening the world, and the crime syndicate is back, even though they were defeated by the by, were defeated by Shinobi, and they're headed by uh, some mysterious dude named Shadow Master. So Joe, my, I, I can't pronounce his uh, last name, but it's pretty much begin with an M. But Hashi is something to that effect. But he like he's pretty much found out about like what happened, and he returns to uh, take out the crime syndicate once again. Now, Shinobi 3 is pretty much divided up into, like, seven districts. It has seven districts in them, which are divided up into different sections. And each division don't have, this has a different number of sections in it, which ended a boss battle. And the, um, the bosses that you encounter are, like, uh, Samurai Master, Mecha Godzilla, that's one. That's one of. That's one of the bosses in the game, Mecha Godzilla, and uh, a Kabuki warrior. Uh, the weapons that that you, the moves and weapons you will have is like ninjutsu magic, ninja stars, uh, around a uh, sword slash, pretty much stuff like that. You can get um different like weapons. Like items rather like single shrieking, double shrieking, powers, big heart, ninja symbols, different stuff like that. And plus, you will encounter like different ninjas, different enemies from the uh, crime syndicate, like brown ninjas, blob monsters, ninja girls, the whole whole source of enemies. You know, kind of like one of the like one of the games that has a big I wouldn't say a big variety of, of, of enemies, but you do have a couple of different types of enemies. So you won't have to have to, have to encounter the same like five enemies through the course of the game, which is which is a good thing in my opinion. And that's of this little video I, I played it, but I've never like beat this particular game. From the Shinobi franchise, but it, 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 you know, honestly, this is a, a good game. You know, the graphics and, and level design of Shinobi Three are good. You know, what I'm saying I, I do like the kind of dark tone that it has with, with the graphics, specifically with the um, uh, color palette and. and is the uh, gameplay is pretty much excellent in my opinion. It's probably one, the probably the best aspects of the game because of the different weapons that you use, the different items that you like gather, and and, and, and the ways that you throw, throw the ninja stars. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the two two types of ways, but it's still I still like it. So now the soundtrack is. Pretty good, and it does fit Shinobi 3 from an overall standpoint and everything. And Shinobi 3 is one of the best known, best games that I played on the Genesis. It's pro it seems like nobody, nobody really talks about it like that. that I, I, it makes it probably one of the most under, one of the most. I would say one of the most, but it's one of the underrated games in my opinion because of nobody really talks about Shinobi 3 like that. You know, they talk about like Streets of Rays or, or Simon the Hedgehog or even Madden, stuff like that. But in my opinion, this is a pretty excellent game and one of the best games for the Genesis. And I would honestly recommend it um, to any gamer, especially the uh, retro gamers and gamers who are fans of ninja games, you know. And I, I would honestly give this one uh, 
pretty much an eight out of nine, well, an eight out of ten instead of an eight out of nine, you know. So it's kind of like man, because there are some minor, there are some complaints about it, but I, I haven't, in, I haven't noticed any. You know what I'm saying? Probably because it's been like almost twenty years since I really like played Shinobi Three like that on the Genesis, you know. So with that being said, if you like Shinobi Three for Sega Genesis, you can mention it in the comment section. If it happen to be your favorite game overall or your favorite game in the Shinobi franchise, you can also mention that too. If you like this uh, review of Shinobi Three, you can uh, click. Don't hesitate to click the thumbs up button. You can also share it on Facebook or Twitter or one of the other um, ones, so one of the other social sites and stuff. And don't forget to subscribe. This is your boy, Big Mentor Fan Twelve, signing off.